Transport Minister Barbara Creasy has checked on the progress of the multi-billion rand N2 and N3 projects. The visit started at the 4.5 billion rand Key Ridge project in Peacevale and moved to the 5 billion rand EB Kluwerter project upgrades and also included the N2 Kwamashu to Umlodi River Bridge. SABC News reporter Jade Pulser spoke to Minister Creasy about the project. This, this upgrade is really important in terms of easing congestion. Uh, most of this highway will now be uh, four lanes or five lanes between uh, Peter Maritzburg and Durban. And of course, we're also focusing on the safety issue. And uh, this particular area that uh, you can see behind me has been an area where there has been high accident rates. There's also been a lot of congestion because trucks have to change down to a lower gear. The idea of this amazing bridge, which is costing about four and a half billion rand, is to completely remove the curves and the steep inclines in the road and to make sure that the road will, will be much shorter but also much, much safer. It really is an incredible engineering feat. There are support towers that are 30 meters high. They go 40 meters underground uh, so that the, the section of the road will be stable. And what you can see behind me is uh, an area where they are constructing sections of the platform. And they are, as they construct them, they pop them out and then move this whole thing forward to the, to the next um, support structure. I think what is also important about projects is that they're not just about economic benefits and safety benefits. It's also about job creation. Overall, uh, this project will create about 35,000 full-time equivalents, although obviously there will be many more individuals involved because not all of these jobs are permanent or full-time. What is also special about this project is the fact that 30% of the spend is on subcontractors. So on the nine packages that we've been looking at this morning, there'll be an 8 billion rand spend on small companies. important because it allows those companies to move up the CIDB grading scale so that the next time they bid for work, they can do more complicated work and of course better paid work. Also involved here is an amazing uh, job training exercise. Altogether on all of the upgrades on the N2 and the N3, we have involved a thousand young people. You would know that many people leave FET colleges or universities and they never get work. And the reason that they never get work is that they've never completed the technical part of their training. State-owned companies historically played a very important role in providing that technical experience. And I'm very pleased to say that on this project, Sunroll will spend 340 million rand ensuring that young people who have left formal technical education get the necessary work experience so that they can be properly registered as professional people.